have here a short duffer's guide to identifying bulbs for which you have lost the labels. Number one is a large bulb, actually. This one here. This is the bulb of a Camassia. Camassia cassicii, which is a fantastic May flowering uh, blue bulb. Looks really, really good. Um, so, you yeah, know, tallish, two, three foot high. Looks fantastic, naturalized in grass. So, that is a Camassia. Recognize that. Second one, easy one. You know what that is? It's a tulip. Tulip bulbs are pretty much always uh, identifiable. What is more difficult is to work out exactly which tulip you have. Uh, I remember a story of a Dutch bulb importer where the lorry had a bit of an accident and the whole lot got mixed up and nobody could actually work out which one was which and that was their whole lot written off for a year. Uh, so a tulip could be any colour. Usually the very much darker ones have a slightly darker papery bit around it. So that's a tulip. Next up on the list is that. Recognise that? Knobbly thing. This is Fritillaria meleagris. I apologise for the cars that are very loud up there. This is Fritillaria meleagris, the snake's head fritillary. Goes very well, again, in grass and uh, likes a sort of wet, heavy clay soil. Next up, that. Shiny, white and perfect. And smells very strongly of onions. Therefore, that is an allium. This particular one is allium hollandicum, purple sensation. It will flower, you know, May, June, uh, about a foot and a bit high, with a perfect tennis ball size purple flower on it. Next up is that. Recognize that? That is, of course, a daffodil, a narcissus. Uh, this particular one is a uh, daffodil, of course, St. Patrick's Day, but you would be hard pushed to recognize that from the bulb. The important thing about them, plant them in pots, in borders, everywhere. In fact, you could go and look at uh, Ben Dark's video about how to plant uh, daffodils, which is on our YouTube channel, and you could probably get it by clicking on that link there, or just hang on until the end. Um, this, most important thing about this, that there, is the bottom. Plant the bottom downwards. Next up, I've got a little tiny weeny thing here. This is a tiny weeny crocus. Uh, you can see it's just beginning to show its um, shoot coming out. Plant that. Good in pots, actually. If you plant it with tulips together, that'll come up nicely. Next one is that. Now, that's an interesting bulb. That one is an Aris reticulata. It's a very, very early iris, comes up in sort of February, March. Quite low, quite short, usually blue. There's one called Edward, there's one called Gordon, there's one called uh, J.S. Knight, a number of them. Finally, the weirdest bulb of all, which is that. That is uh, an Eremurus. This is Eremurus Himalayacus. Uh, and that is the foxtail lily, great, tall, six-foot spike of flower that opens very slowly from the bottom all the way up, like, like a, um, a slowly exploding Roman candle. So there you are, there is a selection of bulbs. If you have a disaster in your bulb cupboard, that's how to find your way around.